We're attempting the longest journey ever done in toy cars, which is over 500 miles. We started in Jacksonville and we're on our way to Key West, which will take about 60 days in these mini Porsches. We've learned these are the best toy cars on the planet because we're on day 49. And even though we had broken down quite a few times, we're still somehow moving. Today, we woke up in Miami and we're close to entering the Keys, which will be our final stretch to the finish line, baby. Welcome to day 39 of attempting to go over 500 miles in toy cars down the entire length of Florida. If I look like I was just bawling my eyes out, it's because I have been crying for like a solid hour now. I just got the appeal back from YouTube saying that my channel will not be reinstated. So I am having a very, very, very rough morning. Like an insane amount of tears, guys. I built this channel up over the past 10 years. All of my memories are on this channel and they're all lost. Like literally, it's like my own diary of building both of my businesses, all of my travels, everything. And a hacker took it and must have posted something they weren't supposed to while I was taking a nap and now the channel's gone. So I'm probably posting this on Facebook right now, but welcome to the day. We're in Miami right now we're literally just waiting on the sidewalk for parts for our car by that I mean my car is the one that needs parts right now the bumper is smashed so we're getting a new bumper my back tires are squeaking like crazy so I'm also getting two new tires in the mail so unfortunately it was supposed to be here before noon today but something went wrong with FedEx and now it's not supposed to be here for like at least another hour and it's 3 30 p.m. right now and we still have 18 miles left to go today we've just been waiting outside of our Airbnb all morning and I just haven't posted yet because I've been crying all morning so I'll let you guys know when the truck shows up. For now, I'm gonna just chill in my sadness and try to cheer myself up. But the truck should be here soon, and when it gets here, we're gonna have to decide if we can carry the box 18 miles all the way to the hotel and fix the car there, or if we wanna try to attempt to fix it here, but that's gonna take even more time, and we're gonna lose even more daylight, which we don't want happening in Miami. We learned that last time when we got to this Airbnb. We really, really, really do not want to be going through sketchy areas in the middle of the night again, but honestly, it might happen. I guess we'll find out soon. All right, I'll see you guys when the truck gets here. The FedEx truck just arrived. It's all the way down there. I was hanging out right there, but then I got kicked off someone's area. Even though I was in the public area, they still were upset I was in their lawn, quote unquote. So I'm actually over here with my toy car now. I've been hanging out on live with all these amazing people supporting me. You guys will probably see maybe the comments. I'm on Instagram and TikTok live right now. And I have been crying a lot. I went through an insane amount of tissues today because of everything happening. But the FedEx truck is here, which means my car can be fixed, which is great. I'm hoping that the box isn't too big and that I can carry it while I'm driving because I want to like strap it to my hood or something because honestly, like I don't want to have to be fixing my car right now. It's already almost 5 p.m. It's so late in the day at this point and we still have 18 miles left to go today. So I'm like so nervous that we're going to be just driving in the night through not great neighborhoods. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen and that I can just strap the parts and fix the car tonight and not have to figure out how to fix it now because I was told this is a more complicated fix. Lauren went and just intercepted the FedEx truck, so let's go see what they got. All right, I'm heading over to Lauren. Oh, it's not that heavy, it's just gigantic. We are opening the big box. Maybe we can divvy up the things inside. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah. All right guys, so that is all of the trash. I have no idea where we're supposed to throw that out now because we're just on the side of the sidewalk. We're gonna have to look around for something for that. But what we do have is the bumper, another mirror, because my mirror got taken off and I need to get a new Connor. For anyone who didn't know, Connor was the animal that was riding on my mirror. Uh, everyone was debating if he was a bear or a dog. You can let me know what you guys thought he was. He was the one riding on my mirror. So when he went missing, we now need a new Connor because someone named Connor for donating $1,000 to our fundraiser to help save animals. So now we need to find a new Connor to put on the new mirror. So new mirror is good. Fredo Toys sent us all of these parts, which is amazing. Thank you, Fredo Toys, for doing that they overnighted them here and now we gotta get them on the car and figure out I'm hoping we can get on the road without installing that bumper I don't know is that ambitious could I just tape it to my car I'm thinking about it I'm thinking about it but for now let's stick in the mirror all right so actually it's the wrong mirror that he accidentally sent so it doesn't look quite right when I put it in it's gonna have to go in like that I guess well at least there's a mirror there though we'll take it all right what do you guys think of me driving like this we still have two tires that need to go somewhere 
but if I could like rope this bumper right here, then maybe we could just fix it tonight and not have to make this a now problem. I know it doesn't look good. It'll be super uncomfortable, but it might work. All right, this is how the car is looking. It's, it's a little ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous. I got the tire to fit right in there. That one would still have to go in Lauren's car though. I can't fit two tires. All right, guys, that's what we got. That's, that's the situation now. So if there's a day that the police would pull us over and ask us what the frig's going on, it would be today. Normally they love us because we're not doing anything wrong. This looks a little bit insane, but we're gonna have to make it work. 18 miles is not close, so fingers crossed. We're getting on the road. We gotta go figure out where to throw that out first. So we got the rope that we got a while back. We thought we were gonna use this so that Lauren or me could pull each other when the cars died. Never thought I'd be using the rope for this, but you know, that's what happens when you're on a toy car adventure. The craziest things happen, so we're opening it. All right, so I can't find the end of the rope, so I'm cutting it in a random spot. This is a dangerous game, but it's gotta happen because I can't find the end of the rope and I wanna just keep unraveling it all day trying to find the end. I wouldn't say it's secure, but it's better than it was without the rope. So we're getting on the rope. This is the final situation. <laughs> I strapped this to my backpack, which basically means all day I can't get into my backpack. And I go into that backpack a lot while we were driving for camera batteries, for chapstick, for sunscreen, for a hat, for a beanie, for gloves, for everything that I could possibly need. So. I don't love it, but it's all we got, so I guess we'll take it. All right, the construction guys over there were amazing and let us put the box in their truck. So we're good to go, baby. We are on the road, baby. I am so squished in here, I can barely fit. Like, oh my God, it hurts. My knee is pushed like up against the steering wheel. Yeah, it's bad, it's bad. My butt feels like it's being squeezed on both sides. My hips hurt, like, oh my God, this is bad. This is gonna be a rough 18 miles. I cannot begin to describe how painful this is right now. My hips barely fit, so it kind of hurts. Like I could barely fit my butt into this seat. My knees are like up against the steering wheel, so it makes it pretty hard for me with steering right now. It's like rubbing against my knee. And then I have to push my backpack over so that I can steer with my other knee. So basically, it's like a little mini workout going on over here. Oh my God, now my phone just fell into the car because there's no space to put it anywhere but my lap. Squirtle's falling, my turtle. Yeah, everything's a little rough right now. I have to literally push my knee out to push my backpack away from the steering wheel, but it's like I'm in a consistent workout of just pushing with my knee and fighting the backpack. So it feels like my right hip is getting like some major workout going on right now. Yeah, squirrel's falling forward. I barely fit here right now. This backpack is squishing my knee into the steering wheel. So I have to keep pushing the backpack so that I can turn, which is a huge workout. I don't like it, but we have 18 miles of it, so I'm gonna have to just pep up. Everything will be fine. We're gonna fix this before tomorrow. Guys, I'm like getting hit in the face with a leaf and there's nowhere I can go. It's just like I'm going through plants. The sidewalk is rough today. All of the plants back there. Ah, oh man, I fell off the sidewalk. They're just hitting me in the face. Normally I would lean to the right, but there's a bumper to the right, so I'm just like getting attacked in my face right now. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh God, it's bad, it's bad. A bunch of peacocks all over the place. Don't know where they came from. The sidewalk has proven to be absolutely horrible today, and it shows on the map that at some point we're supposed to meet up with a bike lane that's like through a forest, like not even with cars. I hate bike lanes when they have cars, but this one is like through a forest, no cars around. It sounds like a dream come true right now. So I'm just waiting and praying until we get there because the bumps, the plants, everything is just rough today on top of being totally squished inside of this vehicle and getting a workout on my knee, trying to hold my backpack out of the way of the steering wheel. So please bike lane, come soon. I'm trying to check a map out, but we're too busy right now for me to check it. I'm so curious how far we are from this bike lane. It could be miles, it might be a mile, I have no idea. This isn't the bike lane we're looking for, but it got us out of the craziness for just a moment and I'm so appreciative. It's just like this little park, but I could not be more happy to be in this park right now. Oh my God, I just tried to turn on the tracker today, guys. Oh no, I'm gonna turn it on right now. We've only went like a few miles, so. It don't want to be a few miles off. At least it's not for the world record anymore, so it's okay. But I still want to know how many miles we went by the finish line, so I'm gonna turn it on right now. I still want to know how many miles we went by the time we get to the finish line. I'm so curious. I'm gonna turn on the tracker now, even though I forgot to this morning. This is not for the world record anymore, but we did find a bathroom and I have to go so bad, so I'm gonna pee first. And she will turn on the tracker before I forget. Then we're gonna go pee. I've been looking for a bathroom all day because we got kicked out of the Airbnb around noon and it's almost 6 p.m. now. So it's been six hours of me having to go to the bathroom and holding it. So I'm so grateful for this bathroom now. I haven't drank water in hours because I didn't want to have to pee any more than I already have to. 
Let's go. All right, we're pressing OK to start the tracker, baby. Here we go. We're good, baby. Well, we're here. I'm definitely going to fill out my water bottle. The water that was in there tasted moldy before. I'm excited for new water. It tastes so much better. All right, that was the perfect pit stop. Fingers crossed we find the perfect bike lane soon, because this isn't it. But this has been really nice. But I really want to get off of the actual roads here and get onto a bike lane. By that, I mean sidewalks. We're only on sidewalks and really bike lanes. But I want the one through a forest more than anything today, because my car looks like that. We are going, baby. We're still in Miami, and it has been a little bit crowded, but we're making it through. Yeah, just very uncomfortable. I can't wait to get to the bike lane, but honestly, people have been so nice here, so at least there's that. And we're making it through, like, it looks like the main town area of this section of Miami, so hopefully we can fit through everything. All right, the road's getting closer and closer to what the bike lane should look like. I'm liking it. I'm starting to like it a lot. And it's getting very nature-esque. I like it. Baby. We're starting to pass through more nature. The trail's more smooth. There's less intersections. It's not exactly like perfect yet, but I'll take it. This is way better than where we were before. I'm not getting scratched in the face with plants anymore. Dragging in Lauren's car. What, was it a leaf? Could not shake it loose. Literally, I was hitting like every bump. Oh my God, that happens sometimes. They want to hold on. Stubborn. All right, so we got a little stuck. Someone took out this little tiny piece of sidewalk here, so now we can't fit across this bridge. It looks like there might be another bridge, so we're gonna go check that out and back it up. We're gonna have to back it up this whole way and backtrack to find a different bridge. It even tells bicyclists to walk across this bridge, so we're not doing it. We're gonna find another one. Guess we gotta back it up. Oh my God, the perfect bridge. Yes, it's perfect. There's the bridge we were on before. That was not it. This is it. My God, this show is turning into like the middle of the wilderness vibes right now, guys. What the frig is this? Hopefully nothing goes wrong with the cars because it looks like we're headed into the middle of the forest for a hot minute and it's gonna be dark in about 15 minutes. So this is gonna be really creepy really soon. This thing over here. Straddle, yep, straight, straight, straight. Oh straight. God. Ah! I'm just gonna get out and lift it. Ah! This is gonna suck when it gets dark out, guys. We're not gonna be able to see these cracks. Oh my God, this is gonna suck so bad when it gets dark out. All right, the sun's going down fast, but I still have my sunglasses on because I haven't gotten out the night stuff yet, which is my safety glasses, my hoodie. It's getting a little cold out here, but everything's under this bumper, so it's a pain in the butt to get to, but we'll do it in like five minutes before the sun goes down. I'll get everything out. I have not been doing great today, guys, because today's the day that I found out that my YouTube channel was taken away from me in real life. So it's definitely been a lot of crying today. My eyes are all swollen and puffy and I've been tearing on and off. My mom, my dad, everyone's calling me asking if I'm okay. The answer is no, but I kind of have to be. So here I am. And the sun's going down soon. We still have 11 miles left to get to the hotel. I just checked. So that's like, I don't know, five hours? Five hours, let's say. So we should be there. Wait, that three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. No, four hours, four hours. It's seven, eight, nine, I think we'll be at the hotel by like 10.30 or 11 p.m. tonight. Let's hope the trail is nice to us though because I think we're gonna be in the middle of the forest most of the day after this. He said this is what leads us to the trail. Oh, here it is. Here's the beginning of the trail. It starts right here, going in that way. Oh my God. Ah. Oh my God, it's the perfect size bridge for us. Ah! The perfect size bridge for toy car driving, guys. I love it. We just pulled over, so there's a few things that we need to do before the sun goes down. The first one is we haven't ate since like really early this morning, like 9 a.m. and now it's like 7.30 p.m. We are both starving and to eat when it's pitch black outside is really difficult. So we're gonna eat right now. The second thing that we're gonna do is go into night mode. So we get all the lights out. I'm gonna get my safety glasses that are clear and a beanie and a hoodie on for the cold because it's already starting to get kind of cold out here. So all these things are gonna happen right now. I got cold lasagna and veggies. Delicious. I wonder how many cold meals we've eaten on this trip in the last 49 days. Probably a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she says 49, honestly, probably, or more.
We're going into night mode, which consists of me attaching this headlamp to the back of my water bottle. My water bottle helps hold the headlamp on the back of my car so that it doesn't fall off. Normally I put this on the other side. I don't know how this is gonna work today because I usually have a little more space than this. All right, I guess this is what we got. It looks kind of ridiculous, but it's gonna have to do. Night mode has been activated, baby. We were at a pretty big crossroads back there and we had to decide which way to go. One way is lining Route 1, which lines the entire east coast of the USA, or we could choose the San Cutler Road that we were currently on before. Route 1 is the one that we checked last time when we drove it in a real car the entire route. And Route 1 was, uh, we don't know if it would be sketchy at night, but in terms of the actual lanes, it was pretty good. So let's hope it's not sketchy at night because that's the route we're choosing. We're going Route 1, baby. I just realized at some point tonight, I'm gonna have to do a battery swap on this car. I can't really see if I have it facing toward me guys, the phone, because it's shining a light in my eye from the flash. So I'm gonna show you guys the road as I'm talking. I tried to do a battery swap tonight and with this bumper on my car and a bag and a bunch of other things tied down over there, battery swap is gonna be absolutely so difficult to do, but it's inevitable. I'm hoping it's not for a while though and I can just enjoy driving in the dark in peace for a little bit longer. That being said, it doesn't look very peaceful up there. It looks like we're entering the main road. Far it's been pitch black out here, but up there, it looks like we're almost at Route 1, the busy road, but we'll be on the bike lane, I think. I hope. That's all. We're waiting at the crosswalk. Lauren just pressed the button. All right, we're crossing, we're crossing. 6.5 miles away from the hotel, baby. Lauren's dealing with some horrible stuff over there, trying to get over this big crack in the sidewalk. It's like a big gaping crack. So we're gonna go around this way. Yeah, we're going into the grass right here because we weren't gonna deal with that today. So yeah, she should be coming up any minute now, going this way. There she is, baby. She made it through. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna follow suit in my spot as back car. My car got stuck here on like this grass, like the tires are spinning in the back, but nothing's moving, so we gotta push it. All right, we're back on the road. I think it's time to do a battery swap anyway. The car is dying and it's dying fast. No idea how I'm gonna do it with all that stuff there, but we're gonna have to figure it out. We would rather stop here because we've passed a few little sketchy areas and we obviously don't wanna do the battery swap in an area where we're dying and we have to stop. So instead of getting stuck in an area we don't wanna get stuck in, we're just gonna do the battery swap right now. All right, it's time for the battery swap, guys. Ask me how I'm gonna get all of this stuff unloaded from the vehicle. The batteries are all the way on the ground of the car. Everything here has to come out basically everything in the vehicle to get the batteries out and swapped. All right, so for this to happen, all of this stuff has to come out of the vehicle. I have to get the batteries, swap them out in the front. It's gonna be an absolute mess. And then somehow I have to get this bumper back on the top in a way that it won't fall off for the rest of the journey. Fingers crossed. Okay, everything's out. The bumper, the cooler, the rain cover, the extra spare parts, the rope. And I moved the cookies and the foil over there, the cooler over here, and now I can finally see the battery. Now I gotta get everything back in. This stuff barely fits in here. This toy car is not made to hold all this stuff. I'll tell you that. All right, so now all the ropes in the front, nothing's in the back. So I gotta fix that and still get this stuff into the car. All right, so we're ready to go, but there's so much stuff in the spot that I sit. So I'm gonna have to try to move all that over. Then we'll be good to go. It's a little cramped, I'm not gonna lie, but we're, we're gonna make it work. I'm telling Lauren to sit in my car for a sec so she can see what I'm working with in here. Luxury. You're sitting on top of it. Top of what? Can you squeeze your butt in? Is your butt in? Yeah. Is it sitting on the power bank? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Do a little shimmy. Luxury, she You're says. like shimmy in Luxury. there. Yeah. Guys, this night is going so well now with the perfect bike lane with almost no cars on the road. Smooth pavement, I don't want to speak too soon because everything's just going that well. I do want to shout out Fred Toys because they sent me this bumper today and all the different parts. It was so perfect and exactly what I needed. If you want to buy anything from Fred Toys, uh, we paid full price for these vehicles, but we did get you guys a discount because everyone was asking for it and it's Cass and Lauren for 15% off anything on their website. So I will link that down below for you guys. Oh my god, this count is in the road. 
I just checked and we're officially two and a half miles away from the hotel, which means we should be there in less than an hour, baby. Especially because right now we're making great time on this very smooth, like amazing bike lane thing that we're on. I literally love it. Oh God, it's a little bumpy, but we like it. I really like it, it's good. It's 10 p.m. and we're officially one mile away from the hotel, baby. We are so freaking close and everything's still going smoothly. So please, please continue to go smoothly, please. We're now off the bike lane and going on to Route 1 sidewalks because we're almost at the hotel. We made it to the hotel, baby. Oh my God, without any issues with the cars today. How amazing is that? Now all we need is for them not to be fully booked and or have a first floor room or no elevator or anything like that and we'll be good. But I'm pretty sure we're in the clear as long as the booking goes through. We made it. We're going in. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Well, it smells a little weird in here. At the end of the video, because Brandon sent me them. This was in taking all the orders from socks, shirts, and stickers to the post office today. Thank you, Brandon. All right, so I just got here. We gotta load up all these packages, about three or 400 packages. I already got a couple of them over here. We gotta put them all in this uh, big old metal grate, big old metal box. One full bin and another like two thirds of the way full. All right, so this is the logbook page for day 49. So today we went 16.08 miles. We had an average speed of 1.7 miles per hour. Our max speed was 10.19 miles per hour. And our distance so far was 485 miles, baby. And until the finish line, we only have 140 miles. And we ended off in Southern Miami.